Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we've come to Batalic to find Wheel Leisure and Wheel Grambler. Our video today concentrates on the film location for Wheel Leisure, Ross Poldark's mine in the 2015 series with a bit of real history thrown in. We will also be exploring Crown Engines here at Batalic, used as Grambler Mine or Francis Poldark's mine. Batalic is approximately one mile north of St Justin Penwith, eight miles or so from Penzance. We will start in the car park next to the Count House, explore wheel holes, then head down the cliff towards Crown Engines, returning to the car. We've just arrived at Vitalik car park, not many people here, there's the sea and it's a lovely glorious day, the old count house provides a little facility there, it's lovely. We're going to go down to the Vitalik, explore the mines, we're also going to go and find wheel owls which is used for wheel leisure in Poldark. Yeah you can see it today, Yeah. every time we've been down here before, the weather's been so awful, <laughs> can't see it. It's shrouded in mist, I've, rain or fog, isn't it? <laughs> I thought it was miles away, isn't it, just there? Yeah, I know. We missed it last time, didn't I we? Yeah. Have a look. So, from the car park next to the count house, head towards the sea. Start to bear left along the coastal path and head towards the engine house in front of you. This is Wheel Owls or Wheel Leisure. So, behind us is Vitalik and in front of us is the engine house Wheel Owls that was used as Wheel Leisure, Ross Poldark's mine. Very popular walking route, as you can see, there's quite a few hikers. It goes down to Senon from here, one of the more difficult parts of our coastline. So we get our first shot of wheel leisure. Ross finds it derelict, and he's trying to resurrect it for an income. Let's go and have a little look inside, see what we can see. So the mine's obviously been stabilised and repaired. There's lots of new joists above the windows, lots of new pointing. But it does give you a sense of what it would have been like looking out to sea. When this was actually in action it would have been so noisy, smoke coming out the chimney, people everywhere, busy busy busy. So I'm stood just in front of Wheel Leisure and I think that's where they must have constructed what looks like some sort of capstone or winding gear. And there's Wheel Leisure, looking beautiful in our Cornish sunshine. Again, here we see Ross and Francis debating the viability of the mine. Are you debating the viability of the mine? There's none left. They've had it all. <laughs> Flooded, is it? Yeah, you'll have to find another one. We're all buggered. There's none left. I guess I would have been a bow maiden all those years ago. But this is the position that they would have used to film that shot. You can just see a little bit of light through that middle window. The V in the disintegrated wall, looking beautiful. This is where they had their picnic scene. So we're here we have Wheel Leisure and you can see the proximity it is to Crown Engines. Now they use Crown Engines in Poldark as Grambler Mine, it's down there on the left hand side behind Wheel Leisure. And as we come up the cliff, you can see the modern headgear. That was actually erected in 1906 when they tried to reopen the mine. They actually left this in in the series of 2015 Poldark. And you can see it in this photo. Perhaps they thought they could get away with it because it might have looked wooden. So the real story of Wheel Owls is actually one of prosperity. This book by Bob Acton actually explores the mining heritage in this area. Wheel Owls' greatest prosperity was in the 1860s. It had a total of 29 miles of levels, 3 miles of adits, an additional mile of levels was being driven each year. However, tragedy did strike in 1893. Miners broke through into the flooded 148 fathom level of Wheel Dray which they thought was 40 metres away. One of the survivors described it as louder than 10,000 thunders when the water broke through. It killed 19 men and a boy. Their bodies were never recovered. And here, just to remind you how dangerous mining was in Cornwall, you'll find a plaque. Ah, oh, such wonderful old Cornish names. Eddie, Thomas, loads of Williams in Cornwall as well. I do like a nice wall on a cliff top near a mine stack. That's one of my favourite things. Answer me. 
minute. Beauty. Anthem. Let's go off down to Vitalik Crown Engines and see what we can find. Okay, so there's the Kalsner stack, and up there, in the middle of the grass, is Andrew filming me. He stayed up there with the dogs. I've just scrambled down the cliffside. There is a path, but it's not very well defined. My reward for my scramble is a really close-up view of the Crown Engine houses here at Botalic. Don't they look fantastic? Beautiful in the Cornish sunshine. So, of course, the actual mine shaft went down and then out under the sea little fishing boat out there today. Beautiful blue bells looking so pretty given the cliff of lovely blue haze. Sea gently lapping at those dark inky black rocks. I am so lucky. I'm so happy to share this with you. It's such a privilege. So the little path that took me down to the headland is here. To the left of me is a deep gully. To the right of me is the sea. <laughs> ah, I'm going. So here we can see that uh, the 2015 series used crown engines as Francis Poldark's mine. So this is a photo, it's looking in the other direction, it's looking back up the cliff top, but you can make out the, this is the Crown's uh, section of the mine, so this engine house here is a pumping engine, it's the one with the chimney on, so it's the lower of them. Okay, um, so that would have brought the water up. Yeah, and it says that uh, the pumping engine was built in around about 1835, and the other engine house, which is this one here, which is the one a little bit higher up, um, that had only recently been erected in 1865. Its engine hauled wagons on the famous wooden skip road, which is here. Okay. Okay. Because um, they had to have that because it's so steep. Yeah, is which right? served the new Buscow and Diagonal Shaft. A very s steep skip road on the left, close to the camera, was operated from the top of the cliff where there was a small whim engine house. Caution! Narrow paths with unguarded steep drops ahead. Ah! Uh... Quite a narrow path, but you can just about get out there. I've left Andrew up by the engine house. It's a bit of a tricky path around the corner there. You can't see it from here. There's the back end where that photograph would have been taken all those years ago. This is obviously some sort of man-made construction. It's a granite base of a building. And that's where that winding road would have been. The sea is rolling around behind, making some beautiful, beautiful spray patterns on the rocks over there. Look where I am. I made it down that horrible path. It's really tricky in places. Be careful, it's really steep as well. I made it though. Look! Yay! <laughs> the Crown Mines at Botalic began around 1721. In 1858, the Boscowan diagonal shaft was dug to access loads over a third of a mile under the seabed. You can see the entrance there with a boulder just below it. Famously, in 1865, the Prince and Princess of Wales visited the Crown engine houses and they were actually taken down into the Boscowan diagonal shaft on one of the mine wagons. Path. Not quite so easy, but passable. It's better up there. Okay, do you fancy a coffee then? There's National Trust tea rooms. Do a lovely coffee. The old count house. Yeah, very nice. Isn't that where they counted the value of the ore? 
And they've also got a little um, video playing about the filming of Pole Duck down here. So did you enjoy exploring Wheel Leisure? I love Wheel Leisure. It's just like you're watching it on the telly. <laughs> a dog is barking in the background. For a Pole Duck fan, you must come and have a look. It's one of the key parts of the film locations. You can easily make out where it was filmed too. Park at the Count House, off to the left. Can't miss it.